root, root. <laughs> so what's happening here today, Ken? Uh, we've got the labour stall going. Uh, it's raining, but we don't really care. And um, we're just trying to build support for the Labour Party. Labour are the only party that appear to care about schools, the NHS, and protecting public services. So uh, we've kind of grown from a, a group of activists into a bit of a small political force. <laughs> Hey, hello. Yes, I'm tweeting away as usual. I tweet more than a bird. How are you, Chester? Not bad. So what are you doing here today? We are the labor stall for Canning Town South. We are promoting labor. We are here to explain to people, you know, who have joined, uh, to reassure them that they've done the right thing. And for people who are a bit skeptical, we now need to show them as to why they should vote labor. You know, look at the, we need to get more policing. Look at the state of the, our, 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 you know, travel. They've taken and privatized our national rail. Obviously, the NHS, that's another issue that's close to the heart. We need to get our services back. We need to get it for the people because we are, you know, a big, a huge community and we cannot sell our services. We need to, we need to claw everything back. We need to bring it back into our hands. What about education? So... Well, obviously, education, housing, you know, um, education, housing, politics, they are not separate from each other. Everything is intertwined, and people just have to realize that if you don't join a you know, political party, if you don't have a say, you cannot make a difference. There's no point sitting and complaining and saying our services are going, you've got to do something about it. So that's why we are here. We are obviously members of the community, and we want to take everything back. We want it back for us, for our people. Thank you. Thank you. Zane, Zane so you, you are chairman of your ward here. I am, I am. Yeah, so tell me about your work as a legal activist. Well, uh, I'd like to look at it as just not being a chair, but as being a member of the public and also um, a just a normal member. And I have, I'm happy to say that I've got very, very good activists within my ward and around Newham that believe in social justice, believe in a fairer economy and believe our NHS should be free at the point of use. But also I want to speak about some of the stuff that's going on in terms of the education system and especially the university students that are facing because I'm also a chair of a university. And the recent student fees the prices of the student fees, 9,200 something, is absolutely beyond, beyond affordable. Every student that come out after graduating has somewhere around 50,000 pounds debt. And this, was, this, is not, this is thanks to the Tory government. Education needs to be, needs to be seen as a priority, not a business. And this is something that we shall fight for amongst the many things. And also fighting for the residents' rights for decent homes within our boroughs. It's abso absolutely appalling the Tories' measures on housing. It's absolutely appalling. And you can see we're quite passionate about housing and education within our borough. Do you, you make a difference by promoting the Labour Party in a Labour majority? Party? I think so. I think that's the only way to get radical change because we need a change at a heart of government in relation to privatisation of, of services. So I think this is our best bet. Solidarity. We are Coburn. How long have you been a councillor? Oh, since May. I've been, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a real uh, topsy turvy job that I've ta uh, or task I've undertaken. And it's uh, the problems in Cane Town North have been really, really uh, different. Uh, it is what I expected it. And uh, the crime and policing is one of the, my main issues at the moment, which I'm really trying to ta tackle hard in the ward and obviously you know with police cuts at the moment it's been uh, really really difficult to get results for local people but um, at the moment we, we've got large amounts of uh, gang issues along the Barking Road in certain areas of Cannington which we're work I'm working with the local police to try to sort out but again the resources are not there 
and police cuts have literally decimated the hard work that our police do in, in this area. Well, the, the, the main issue is here, it's what, what I find is that poorer areas seem to suffer from lack of policing and, uh, you know, Canning Town has never had a real strive towards good policing and a, a zero tolerance type of policing in this area. You know, it's always seen as a poor council estate, working class area and, you know, we've never had any type of results in terms of policing put into the area and as a local councillor that's one of the things I really want to work on. You know? So what is it like being a councillor? Is it challenging? Is it hard work or is it enjoyable? It's, it's challenging, it's hard work and it's also enjoyable. It's enjoyable in, in terms of when you, do, uh, when you do get the results, when you're trying to help a resident that's had uh, a housing issue or a repair issue and his repair issue has been going on, it's been an ongoing problem since two or three years ago and you've been chasing it up, you've been fighting officers to get the repair, repairs done and when you see the resident's face when finally they get the result of uh, 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 the council actually taking notice of them and uh, doing that repair. It's really baffles me sometimes because uh, the council have a policy where you have to have a certificate to rent a house. Yeah. And in that certificate, you have to, you know, abide to all the regulation and maintenance of the house, pay yeah. looking after the yeah. house. But then imposing down private landlord. Yeah. But when it comes to council property, they need of conditions. Yeah. So what um, do you got to say about that? I mean, the problem is that some some of our departments are not fit for purpose and hopefully our new mayor, uh, Roxana Fiaz, is working very hard to actually re-change re that, you know, re, uh, how can I, rebalance re, re them departments up, look, it, look, into it, look into those and really uh, bring good results for our residents, especially new residents. And, I mean, her heart is really uh, delivering for her residents. <laughs> I'm a move. Yeah, ma'am. I want to see you. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, Come to us too to find out more about the Labour Party. Now we say the Labour Party are for the. We believe the Tory Party are there. Are there not for the many and also putting austerity onto people and making their lives difficult. Privatising from the uh, medical care to also our education system. But we want to say enough is enough. Enough is enough. Our NHS should be free at the point of use. Our education system shall not be turned into a business. So if you believe in many of these merits of the Labour Party, come and join us.